In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies, courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. This is Galaxy Ranger Zachary Fox reporting to Beta. We have just entered the Jawbone Mining Belt, 14.3 solar hours from Reno Colony 6. Our shipment of lithium-25 isotopes is in program stasis, secure and stable. And oh yes, Commander Walsh, your king is in check. Anxiously awaiting your next move, providing you have one. Fox out. Doc, yo! I want an update on your lithium stasis program. Coming up, Chief. Program looks good, the explosives are stable. If we can stay out of trouble for a little while, we ought to get to Reno 6 in one piece. Captain, I'm picking up something moving our way. Considering its speed and trajectory, I think it could be a ship in trouble. Like I said. Goose, what do you make of it? It looks like a Type 9X rock hopper shuttlecraft. Zachary, I'm getting a priority three distress signal. Crank up the audio. Mayday, mayday, request emergency assistance, severe damage, wildfire. Wildfire? Who is Wildfire? Wildfire Carson is the wildest, wooliest desperado in the entire universe. Well, it looks as if Wildfire is about to have his flame put out for good. He's being chased by three Imperial death droids. Hermits. Just find me a right good rock. <sighs> I reckon I don't mind you boys enjoying the show. But do you think you hotshot Galaxy Rangers might be willing to give old Wildfire a hand with these mechanical killers? That is, if you're not too busy watching me getting blasted to Adam. Doc, get me an update on Cody Wildfire Carson. See if he's still wanted by every authority in the galaxy. Wanted or not, Captain, the man needs our help. I'm sorry, Goose, but if you attract those droids to our transport, you could set off the lithium isotopes. Why bother? They're coming right at us. That tears it. I'm on my way. Gooseman! I'm giving you an order, Ranger. Be careful. Alma, prime the drives. Sequence loaded and primed, Goose. Open bay doors. Elma, lock in target. Target locked. Would you like me to fire? I'll handle it, thanks. Nice shooting, fella. 
Wildfire Carson, I presume. None other. Shall we take care of this nuisance? Why, I'd be much obliged. Elma, do it. My pleasure, Goose. Doc, what have you come up with on Carson? Cody Wildfire Carson. He's wanted for just about everything you can think of, including over 200 docking, port, and custom violations. But who would send Imperial Death Droids after him? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Goose is bringing him in now. Well, well, as I live and breathe, Zachary Fox, <laughs> the last time I saw you, you were still at the Academy waiting to get your wings. I heard tell you went and had some bionic modifications since then. Tell me, Zach, old pal, how often do you have to change your oil? You know Wildfire Carson, Zachary? Yes, but it was never worth mentioning. By the way, Carson, you're under arrest. Start removing your gear. Right now. Now, Zach, before you start throwing the book at me, you ought to listen to what I have to say. And you'd better veer your ship off 24 degrees to the starboard. Since when do outlaws tell Galaxy Ranger captains how or where to steer their ships? Since you entered this here minefield, Captain Ranger Fox, sir. <laughs> Nico, status. Hmm. Minor hull damage near the storage compartments. But our four navigational gyropods are severely damaged. We're as good as beached, Captain. Goose, remove this man's hardware and throw him in the brig. Somebody is going to have to pay dearly for banging up my Galaxy Ranger vessel and putting mines where they don't belong. Doc, what about the lithium isotopes? A few minutes, Captain. I don't think we have a few more minutes. Why is that? Take a look for yourself, Captain. My name is Virgil Garrett, Captain, and I own this patch of space. You and your Galaxy Rangers are trespassing where you ain't wanted. Are you the man responsible for mining this area? I'll make you a little deal. I'll answer one of your questions if you'll answer one of mine. Is Cody Carson aboard your ship? Cause if he is, you'd be right smart to give him to me now, before you force me to get unpleasant. Garrett, you're already unpleasant. The only thing I'll hand over to you is a warrant for your arrest. A few facts, Captain. Your ship is crippled and your deck is done run out of guards. I know you've got Carson, and I want him. You play along like a good little boy scout, and I might consider not turning you into space debris. Think about it, Captain. Why that... Goose, bring Carson back to the bridge. What's that noise? Bad news, Zachary. Our stasis program is rapidly decaying. I'm going to have to go inside this system and find some way to divert the circuitry. Or we're going to explode within an hour. Do it, Doc. Goose, get Carson here, on the double. Carson's escaped the brig. Captain, I'm trying to track him. Captain, we just lost the gyropods completely. The slightest shift could send us directly into the minefield. But life support systems are unimpaired, and our offensive weaponry is sound. Wrong. In order for me to maintain our isotope stasis fields, I'm going to have to divert weapons and communication circuitry. There's no other way, Captain. Leaving us defenseless in the middle of this gang of cutthroats. That's one way of putting it. Do what you have to, Doc. I found Carson, Captain. He was down here in the hangar doing a waltz with Elma. Dang it! Let go of me! <laughs> What the? You, sir, are a boob. Leaving so soon, Carson? They would have blasted you to quarks if you'd left the ship. And I'd have had that buggy hot wired if it weren't for that talking female eyeball. It wouldn't have done you any good, Carson. 
As you can see. Garrett, I knew he'd be along. Brought his gang too, I see. Captain, how nice of you to put Carson on display for me. It'll be a cold day on Cherut 8 before you get your hands on me, Garrett, you sidewinder. What's it gonna be, Captain? Are you gonna hand over Carson peaceably, or am I gonna have to turn you into subatomic particles? You'll have to give me more time to think about it, Garrett. Fifteen minutes, Captain, and if you haven't got Carson trussed up like a Christmas goose ready for carving, you can say goodbye to Jawbone the hard way. You are causing us a heap of trouble, Wildfire. Carson, what's this all about? Zack? I got me a map that spells out the richest piles of minerals and metals you ever heard of. And it's all right here in Jawbone, right under Garrett's nose. When Garrett found out I was filing a claim with the land office, He aimed to steal my map and put a stop to me. Garrett and his boys bushwhacked me, hit me with a tractor beam, and dragged me onto his ship. But I snuck into that rock hopper and skipped out past Garrett's robot guards. They thought they could put a stop to a wildfire with them space mines and a couple of droids. But I reckon I showed them. Well, they sure put a stop to us. Carson, you're making my decision easier all the time. Doc, how are the stasis fields holding up? Fine, Captain, but our weapons and radio are going to be out of commission until we get to Reno 6. Next time those cowborgs request a delivery, I hope it's kiwi fruit. Carson, you got us into this mess. Any idea how to get us out? Well, now that you mention it, Captain, I do have an idea or two. When I escaped Garrett's ship, I wrote down the access code. If we can get near that rush bucket, I can get us inside. Then all we have to do is get past Garrett's robot guards, and we'll have Garrett on a platter. Goose, when you searched this old bandit, did you find any paper? Just a weapons arsenal large enough to stock a small army, that's all. That's cause I kept it right here, close to my heart. Captain Zachary Ranger Fox, old pally. Goose, grab it! <laughs> oh, great. The way I see it, Ranger Fox Captain, if you don't take me along, there ain't gonna be no trip at all. What choice do we have? I say we go, Zachary. I don't see where we have much choice at all. I'll stay here and stall Garrett. You three, suit up. What do you mean, three? I'll need you, Doc, to get those space mines deactivated. You might also be able to lend a hand on taking out Garrett's robot defenses. Oh, swell. I reckon I'll be needing my gear, young fella. Standard Ranger gear ought to be good enough for you, I reckon. Sorry, son, but I don't go anywhere without Betsy, my long rifle, and my two six poppers. I'll get them. Say, what was that you were saying earlier about Garrett's robot guards, Carson? Oh, those. Well, he's got your standard Artusian high-flex linebackers. Not more than a dozen or two. A dozen or two? And I can't see you fretting about them half-dozen Series 4 Mad Dog Skull Crushers. Skull Crushers? But, I tell you, there is one of them that does make me a tad nervous. Just a tad, you understand? Don't tell me. What's that, Carson? Well, Garrett went and got himself a one-of-a-kind, giant, black, chrome-plated, hydraulic, blitzkrieg mangler with a terrible temper. Big as a door, too. I told you not to tell me. Don't sweat it, Doc. If it gets too mean, we'll just feed it Cody. The indigestion will probably kill it. Very funny. Let's go. Captain, we're ready to jump. Good luck, Goose. And take care of Cody. I want him back here in one piece. Ten for and out. Come on, Doc. Like jumping off a log. Yeah, right. You got logs in your head, Goose Man. We'll try these vectors through Garrett's scout chips. Let's move out. Transmission from Garrett, Zachary. Put him on. 
Captain, I have just about run out of patience with you. I want Cody Carson, and I want him now. Before you start threatening me, Garrett, there's something you ought to know. We're carrying a shipment of lithium-25 isotopes. Your illegal minds have already caused us to jury-rig the stasis chamber. If you actually do decide to fire upon us, the explosion will be so enormous that there will be nothing left of us, Jawbone, your men, or you. You're bluffing. I never bluff. Not only that, Garrett, I've transmitted my coordinates to Beta, along with a transcript of your threats. If you should destroy us without destroying yourself, you'll be the most wanted man in the galaxy. I can't understand why you'd go stick your neck out for that bag of beans, Carson. Cody Carson is under the protective custody of the Galaxy Rangers, Garrett. I wouldn't expect you to understand what that means, but I would do the same for Cody or anybody else that comes under my protection, even you. Real nice of you to say it, Captain, but I'm giving you one last warning. If I don't have Carson in five minutes, those words will be your epitaph. So far, so good. How about coming up with the access code now, Cody? Well, I'd like to, but come to think of it, I never did have no access code to begin with. Then how do you expect us to get in there? Same way I got out, like this. You think Garrett heard that? Well, if he didn't, his robot sure did. Doc, Doc! He could have been a contender. The bridge is up in that direction. You two head up that way while I cover you and draw the robot's fire down to this side. Wait a minute, Cody. You're coming with us. Goose, Doc! Eat life. Yes! Where's Cody? Beats me? Let's get to the bridge before we get buried alive in this scrap heap. Oh, 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 Bucky, old pal, I never thought I'd see your old hide again. Uh-oh. Raw, puckers. Next time I want a haircut, I'll let you know. I don't know what you think you're up to, Captain, but I think you better say your prayers. Garrett, I wasn't lying about the lithium. Destroy this ship and you'll wipe out Jawbone and yourself. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> what? R.B., old gal. Great to see you again. Everything chip shape? Yes, we're all set, Cody. And let's ride! Hold it, Garrett. Don't move a muscle. Don't even twitch. It's all over for you, Garrett. Oh, yeah? Oh, no! The Mangler! My Goose Man! One, Mangler Zero. That's using the old squeeze play. Good work, team. Doc, send Beta a message. Inform them of our situation. You mean to tell me your communication was out all the time? I guess I forgot to tell you, but the isotopes were real. You almost wiped out this entire quadrant. Say, I don't see Carson anywhere. Where's he gone? Well, 
I can't say it hasn't been a gas. Though it hasn't. I'll catch up with you boys some other time. Oh, uh, thanks for getting me back to the ship. And if I can ever do you all a favor, why, just yodel for old wildfire. Just yodel a hee-hoo.